Okay, today I'm going to be reviewing a product that I got that was rather inexpensive and it's not really overly technical. It's a monopod. So after the intro we can go ahead and get ourselves to the product at hand. Okay, now when I received the package I received it in just a regular plasticized envelope and it was wrapped just like this. Not too overly sophisticated for packaging but to me that works out just fine. Now, I don't know what's all in here so we'll just go ahead and tear into it. And there it is. That was possibly the easiest unpackaging I've ever had to do on a product. So far, anyways. All I have to do is bring it out. And there it is. It's just a, obviously as you can see. Let's see if I can get this to focus now. It basically just says monopod all the way around it got this nice little rubberized textured grip, a little lanyard, an easy adjustable head that can, that's kind of a ratchet. I bet if I loosen it up more, there it is. Nice and free form. It's got a little rubber foot right here. And one of the best parts of this is, and part of the reason why I got this one, other than the price, is that if I take and get that in shot, of course, I can rotate this so I don't have to take and screw a camera on it. I can actually screw it right to the bottom of a camera. Just like that. And then of course tighten this down. Oops, keep bumping the camera with my my arm. And it holds pretty steady. Now I'll take and extend it out. Oops. Tighten this down a little more. And it's on there pretty good. And it can go, you can see it's way outside the shot. I would say from there it's about three feet to where I've got it fully extended. Now part of the other reason why I like this kind of tri or this monopod. Oh, that thing gets pretty snug. Is that at the bottom here? And see it's threaded at the bottom. I could actually attach this to a tripod or something else that or even put a little bit of weight on the bottom to hold it so it's a little steadier. But overall it's I mean it's not a great quality product. This little wheel here it feels kind of plasticky. This little thumb screw here will probably wear out after a while of tightening and loosening it to get a good angle. It's got a nice, that little rubber foot though is pretty nice. It's got a lot of padding to it. Um, not a bad, I mean it, it says made in China. I'm not going to judge because I knew going in where I was purchasing it from, which the link will be somewhere down here-ish. Unless you're watching this and YouTube's changed it, then it might be over there, or over there, or up there, or somewhere right here you know. but I was looking at monopods on Amazon and they were ungodly priced about 10 bucks and up for the exact same thing 
and I seen this on the site that I, I have in the link below and it was only four dollars and fifty cents and I could not pass up a deal like that so hopefully I mean this isn't a very big review a um, couple things I've seen people ask on certain reviews like this is it waterproof no 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 it is not waterproof that's shiny metal it is most likely not waterproof so I don't recommend sitting this in you know an ocean somewhere a lake I mean, you could, I guess. And it seems to hold up pretty good when I'm pulling it apart, so. I got this, though, for another reason, which I might do a different, re once I get it in, of course, I'll do a review on it. But I wanted something so, like, if I ever go back and start filming stuff, I have a way of doing more of a steady shot than holding my my little dinky tripod that I'm using to record this with. Because that's what I used on my Elio videos when I was down in Detroit. And it's kind of cumbersome to hold that in my hand. I could have made something like this, I guess. But I wanted something that collapsed down to a size that I can shove in my pocket. I mean, I've got this little camera here. And then I've got my Nikon, which I'm filming with. And those both fit nicely in the pocket. I can throw this in the pocket. I can throw a battery or two in the pocket. I can throw an extra memory card in. And, yeah. This way I can just easily film and go. So hopefully you guys liked this short little review. And if you did, let me know. If you got any questions about it, obviously just drop them below and I'll answer them the best I can. Um, one thing I'll say is I wouldn't put this on a DSLR camera. I don't think this is a strong enough base for that. If you're going to put a DSLR on it, you might as well just spend the extra money. If, considering you've got a DSLR, you can probably afford to spend a few extra dollars and buy a better one. So with that, I'll leave you guys to it. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button or the dislike button or whatever buttons they've got now. Uh, let me know below what you think, and until next time guys, take care.